BMF Season 3, Episode 1. Let's discuss it. I like how they show beginning of 2007 when, when it's two years after they got incarcerated. Once I realized when I see this show, I realized that Terry is the major flaw of the crew. And I can see why Mish was the smartest one out the crew, despite the fact that he was too flashy. And I also do believe that Terry did make decisions by emotion. And that's the reason why it was a major downfall for the crew in the organization. <laughs> oh my God, dog, nah, man. Hey, Neo is funny as fuck. Like, this whole episode is just funny to me, man. Like, Neo playing as one of the biggest name in ATL is crazy, yo. And I might start liking this character, man. But also one thing, man. Y'all need to bring Step Up back, like, for real. Like, y'all need to bring that show back. Like, why the hell y'all cancel it? Matter of fact, why the hell is he even in Stars in the first place? But you know Stars gonna ruin shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, I'm gonna be on his ass, boy. I'm gonna be on his ass. 2 Chainz look like he could play live Black Dynamite, bro. 2 Chainz look like that Black Ninja from Boondocks, bro. 2 Chain like he could play RZA if he was older. 2 Chain like he could be in the Kung Fu fit, man. This how fucking this shit. <laughs> Ooh. But now, nah, all serious, this man. But like I said, I started not like his character until I realized I was like, okay. I kind of see why because, you know, his cousin passed past and then like he been taking care of the business since then. And he feel like somebody take his place. Is gonna read the fact him, but I kind of get what get what he's with his point of view and shit. Remy boy, I like Remy. I think Remy's gonna be a better villain than Lamar was from the first two seasons. The only difference between Lamar and him, he actually had a better storyline and also a better background of how he become that drug dealer. And I like how the fact that they mentioned Red Dog because Red Dog was the thing in the late eighties and early nineties. In Atlanta. But also what Remy did to that dude in the end of the episode, it showed you that he means business and he's gonna be a major problem for Meech, BMF, and the whole motherfucking crew. But also we gotta keep in mind that the Miami Killers is definitely gonna be some serious, serious, serious. You get what I'm saying. But I do want to see this character Glock. Because I feel like Glock is going to be a major problem for Remy and Meech. But eventually, I feel like Glock and Meech is going to be colliding together to get rid of Remy. I like Sterling's character. Sterling is the real one. Sterling is like the right-hand man, the henchman, and the enforcer of BMF. And the fact that he actually took out Saint and get Terry the crash shows that he's a real one. But I feel like it's going to sting him a little bit because eventually, they're going to find the print. And then he might get incarcerated some shit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't really care about this character. But I'm gonna give for the benefit of a doubt. Because really and truly it's the first episode. So I can't really judge by the first episode. Jen got some tricks on her sleeve. I don't know what she finna do. After she take the cocaine as Evans or whatever she gonna do. But she finna pull some strings bro. I don't know what it is. But man I know it ain't gonna end well for her or the police organization. Man, the way that he looks, how he walks, talks, make me want to slap the fuck out of his ass. Cause he is get on my <laughs> he get on my damn nerves, but for real. I hope Rip stays alone because I feel like Rip is gonna be based off the Vinci. And if it's based off the Vinci, then yeah, I feel like he's gonna be a snitch. Keep in mind though, he is talented as fuck though. Like he need to get out the drug game for real. Like Meech is right hundred percent. Charles got some nerves, bro. He got some nerves. Like, how you gonna expect to lead back where things goes and then you cheat on I forgot what Misha's mother's name, but like come on, bruh. And I kinda get what Lucille saying about she being judged and all that. But what you expect? Like, you kinda be in the hypocrite cause you judging Terry based off he doing, and also you judging everybody else. Like, come on now, like you can't be contradicting yourself, you know what I'm saying? But the funniest part about this episode is when Rolly came in unexpectedly at Meech Mama house. And then Charles bitch ass getting mad because he can't afford no damn steaks and shit. 
Boy, he got some nerves, bro. I don't like Wanda's character because, to be honest with you, I feel like she just doing way too much. But in this episode, I kind of understand because Terry, bro, come on, man. You know the girl you with, man. She got odds with Lawanda. Well, Lawanda got odds with uh, Rakesha, whatever her fucking name is. Like, come on, man. You got to think smarter than that. But she can't really get mad because really and truly, you did left Terry. Like, for four months. And Terry moved on real fast. So, what you expect? Overall, this first episode was, eh, it was aight. I feel like this first episode is more of a build-up. I'm going to get this first episode 6 out of 10. 2025, Meech coming home. Terry got to be the one of the most pussy whip person I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> hey, man, who 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 I been doing his wigs and shit? Boy, I got some. <laughs> they got a 2 chains looking like Black Dynamite in this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> 